Hello, and welcome to this section of the Trig and Precalculus Tutor. Here we're going to talk about the law of cosines, which is kind of a companion to the law of sines. Sometimes you'll have enough information, you can solve the whole problem with law of sines. Sometimes you won't have enough information, and you'll need to turn to law of cosines. They're kind of companions. They both work for all kinds of triangles, and sometimes you'll need to use one, and sometimes you'll need to use the other. So for law of cosines, uh, let me go ahead and draw a picture to show you what this is. So this is law of cosines here. So I have the same kind of triangles, just showing you it's all different shapes and sizes of triangles. Uh, what I'm going to do is label this side A, and the opposite angle here I'm going to label alpha. And then in a different color, I'll label this B and the opposite angle beta, just like last time. And then finally, we'll have side C with gamma which is what this guy is supposed to be down here, like that. Now, I think it's easier if I just write down the law of cosines uh, and then talk about it. So, law of cosines. There's actually three different versions of it, but you'll see once I show the first one, it's pretty easy to understand them all. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine gamma. Now let me ask you a question before I say anything else. If I cover up this, does this look familiar? C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. It should look familiar because that's the Pythagorean theorem. Remember the Pythagorean theorem only works for triangles that have 90 degree angles, that are right triangles. The law of cosines is, is the Pythagorean theorem with this extra term at the end because it applies to all triangles. So literally, the law of cosines is just a broader version of the Pythagorean theorem that works for all triangles. And you can kind of see this. If this angle here, if I kind of bend this triangle up and make gamma 90 degrees to make a right triangle, then cosine gamma, what's cosine of 90 degrees? Cosine of 90 degrees is zero. So if I make this a right triangle, cosine 90 degrees it makes it zero, which makes this entire thing fall away. So what I'm trying to say is, law of cosines becomes the Pythagorean theorem if you make this triangle a right triangle with a 90 degree angle in it, all right? That's really important because it's important to realize that math is just not people throwing darts at you and say, hey, learn this, learn this, learn this. I mean, really, we learn Pythagorean theorem because it's so easy, really, and it's simpler and it works for right triangles, which are important, okay? But really, this is the granddaddy rule. This is really the rule that applies to everything, and the Pythagorean theorem is sort of a special case when you make this into a right triangle. Okay? So literally what you're doing is to find the length of the longest side, c squared. It's a squared plus b squared, but you're subtracting off a term. This term is 2 times the other two legs, other than the one I was trying to find, the other two legs times the cosine of the angle that falls between them. So again, this side squared is equal to this squared plus this squared minus 2 times those sides that I don't know uh, times the cosine of the angle in the middle. Now let me write another form, or uh, this is also the law of cosines, but for, written for the other side. a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2 times b times c times cosine of alpha. Now see how this compares. It looks exactly the same in form. a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared, but I have to subtract off a special term. That is 2 times b times c times the cosine of the angle that's opposite of the one I'm trying to find. So if I'm trying to find A, it's just the Pythagorean theorem as usual, but I subtract off 2 times this, the other two legs opposite, and the cosine of the angle in the middle. And I bet you if you thought hard enough, you could predict what the next one would be. B squared is A squared plus uh, C squared minus 2 times A times C times cosine of beta. So if I'm trying to find side b, b squared is equal to the other two sides squared minus a term that is the other two legs times 2 times the cosine of the angle between them. So that's sort of the general rule for the law of sines, I'm sorry, for the law of cosines. You know, whether it's a or b or c you're trying to find, it's that side squared is equal to the other two sides squared added together minus a special term which is 2 times the other two sides times the cosine of the angle between them and it all reduces to the regular old Pythagorean theorem if you make it into a right triangle. 